Hello friends, trick number 459 and I am going to deal with decimal addition. Now see adding decimal numbers can be a little bit confusing for students who are just starting to learn decimals but if you have small tricks up your sleeves then things will become much more easier. And I appeal to my fellow teachers, please teach these kind of skills to children right from the basic level so that they feel comfortable in dealing with decimals. Now see whenever we have numbers which have only one digit after the decimal place. Now this is part one of the videos, uh, a series of videos wherein I am taking numbers having only one digit after the decimal place. So we can take up higher numbers having two, three, four digits after the decimal place in subsequent parts of this series of videos. Now see whenever we have to add 7.48, 5.3, now we need to add the number before the decimal in both the numbers together and after the decimal together. See after the decimal we have a 4 here and a 3 here. Now 4 plus 3 is going to give you a single digit number that is 7. So our process is very very simple. But 8 plus 4 is going to give you 12 which is a 2 digit number. So this involves use of one more step. Whenever you add single digit numbers, the sum of those two numbers cannot be a 3 digit number. Obviously it has to be a 2 digit number and that to a number which is less than or equal to 18 because 9 plus 9 that is the highest digits we can get after the decimal place so 9 plus 9 is 18 we cannot have a number greater than 18 when we add these two numbers so in this type of question whenever the sum of these two numbers after the decimal place is a single digit number then things are very very simple just write 4 plus 3 7 after the decimal place and add the numbers which are in front of the decimal place 7 plus 5 that is 12. A very simple process. I am sure 99% of the people who are preparing for competitions can do this orally within say one second time only without use of pen and paper. Now come to some complex examples. Now see here we have two digit number in uh, front of the decimal that is before the decimal place and a two digit number here. So when we have to add two digit numbers again it is a very simple process add the numbers in the unit place say 3 and 1 will give you 4 and 1 plus 1 will give you 2 so 11 plus 13 is 24 and now because 8 and 4 the numbers after the decimal place 8 plus 4 gives you 12 which is a 2 digit number so write that 12 with a decimal in between and add it to the result which you have obtained by adding numbers before the decimal place now very simple 24 and 1 this is 25 and 0.2 will come as it is I am sure if you follow this method children at basic level they will be adding decimals very very quickly. Now see in this case also we have two digits here and two digits here so add them 9 plus 1 10 0 so 1 carry now 1 plus 2 3 and 1 carry 4 so we have a 40 plus if you add this 6 and 9 6 plus 9 is 15 so we, it, it is a two digit number so we need to write a decimal in between 15 that is 1.5 5 and now 40 and 141 and 0.5 will come as it is so your result is 41.5 I am sure the method is going to save a lot of time in competitions wherein you get lot of questions involving decimals again see we have a two digit number two digit number so add 3 plus 2 is 5 4 plus 5 is 9 plus now we have a 3 here and a 8 here 8 plus 3 is 11 again a 2 digit number so 1.1 1. 1. 
Now 96 plus 1, 95 plus 1 is 96 and point 1 will come as it is. So this is the answer for this question. Let's have some more examples. Here we again we have, I have taken number of examples in which the number before the decimal place is a two digit number so that you can understand it in a better way and apply it to solve questions in which there are different number of digits in front of the decimal place. So now 3 and 7 this gives you 10 so 0 1 carry 6 plus 3 is 9 and 1 carry 10 so it is 100 plus now 8 plus 5 is 13 so we write 1.3 and now 101.3 is the answer. Likewise here 6 plus 1 7, 8 plus 1 9, so 97 and 4 plus 7 gives you 11, so 1.1, this is 98.1. 6 plus 3 9, 2 plus 4 6, and if you add 6 and 8, it gives you 14, so 1.4, so the answer is 70.4. Now, students here, we have different number of digits, 3 here, 2 here. So what we do in this case, we just put a 0 here, so that the number of digits here before the decimal place and number of digits here before the decimal place are equated. So we have 3 digits now, and now start adding 4 plus 4 is 8, 6 plus 2 is again 8, 1 plus 0 is 1 and we have a 5 and a 9 after the decimal place. So 5 plus 9 is 14. So how do we write it? We write it as 1.4 and your final answer 188 and 189.4. Again here we have 3 digits and 3 digits so digits are already equated before the decimal place. So now you can very easily add them. So 1 plus 1 is 2, 0 plus 8 is 8 and 1 plus 2 is 3 and you have a 7 and a 4. 7 plus 4 is 11 so we write it as 1.1 so your answer is 383.1. Likewise, we have one more question here. I, I think you are not able to view this. I will write it on the top here. 10th question. This is 74.6 plus 812.5. Now, if you have understood the method, you will be able to solve this very, very easily. Now, see here we have 3 digits. Here we have 2 digits. So, we put a 0. Now, start adding 2 plus 4 is 6. 1 plus 7 is 8 and 0 plus 8 is again 8. Now we have 0.6 here and 0.5 here. So 6 plus 5 is 11. So we write it as 1.1 and final answer 886 plus 1 is 887.1 will come as it is. So students, this is the base of all calculations, addition calculations of decimals. So if you have understood this video, the things which we will discuss in part 2 and subsequent parts of this series of videos will be very very easy for you. So practice a lot of these type of questions, take 30-40 calculations and try to solve them orally within 1 or 2 seconds time only so that you can come up successfully in subsequent parts. So if you like the video, do share it and subscribe the channel.